Can say Alec. Hey, Stephen, I know many of you are wondering at home, what is with the blue field? We are actually at Atwater High, as you mentioned, this Smurf turf here. And these Falcons, they have yet to drop a game. They are a perfect 3-0, looking to move to 4-0 against Hillmar tonight for the first time in more than 20 years. As you see this field right here, it is very blue. Just the second season they have had it. Head coach Seneca Yabara calling this the second rebuild. Back in 2019, this program was rolling, hosting a playoff game for the first time since the late 90s. Then COVID hits unable to get into the weight room, going just one and four in that COVID shortened season. They have righted the ship, so I had to ask coach, what's with the blue field? I just want to do something different. They made the mistake of asking me what I wanted to do with the field. We believe blue is our, our big thing, big moniker here at school. I know there's a lot of pride in the community when this place is, is doing well. The community really thrives on, on Atwater football being successful here. I've noticed that. I talked to some people in the community that were hardcore Falcons from back in the day and got kind of a consensus and they were all about it. And it's been success across the board for the Falcons. Freshmen, JV, and varsity all undefeated as of this morning. When it comes to this blue turf out here, I can tell you it is John Baxter approved. That is the Fresno State Special Teams Coordinator. He came out here, he looked at it, immediately thought of the Broncos at Boise and thought, what is going on here? But the end zone is checkered, much like we see at Valley Children's Stadium. So we've got a good Pac-12 mix here, and the Falcons looking to make homecoming another undefeated night for them. Live from Atwater, Alec Nolan, ABC 30 Action News.